With cases of the coronavirus surging throughout the country, a vaccine may be on the way. Drug maker Pfizer is requesting emergency use authorization from the FDA for its vaccine, which may be more than 90 percent effective. Should this be approved, uh, we would then expect that our first shipment of roughly 130,000 doses would arrive in state around Christmas time. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy welcomed the news as parts of his state imposed strict measures to contain the spread. All residents in the city of Newark are being asked to stay at home for 10 days beginning next Wednesday. And starting tonight, a curfew is in effect in some areas. We need that because we have too much cases over here. Frontline workers say they are not only battling the virus, but denial from people who think COVID is fake news. I have never seen so much death and so much sickness in the past two weeks than I have in my entire 10 years in healthcare. California's governor is imposing an overnight stay at home order for most counties that keeps people from leaving their homes from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. in an effort to slow the spread. The order goes into effect Saturday and will impact businesses in hot zones like Los Angeles County. All it's going to do is cause more people to go on unemployment because I'm going to furlough another five people beginning next week. The CDC is also urging Americans not to travel over the Thanksgiving holiday, strongly suggesting people celebrate with people they live with. I get it, but it's Thanksgiving and people want to be with their families. A week before the holiday, people lined up for boxes of food in Colorado. Feeding America, the nation's largest hunger relief organization, says the coronavirus-related economic crisis could leave 54 million Americans unable to access affordable food.